best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Morales versus Barrera, Vasquez versus Marquez, Zarate versus Zamora. Boxing history is bathed in the blood, sweat, and tears of Mexican rivals, and this decade is ready for a battle of its own. No two candidates in the sport are more primed than WBC World Super Featherweight Champion Miguel Burchelt and former WBO World Featherweight Champ Oscar Valdez. Both young, hungry, world-class pugilists with pensions for violence and an infatuation with glory. And on February 20th, these two will finally collide. The 29-year-old Cancun native Burchelt started his athletic career on the football pitch, but at 16 began to find more success in the ring than on the field. As an amateur, El Alacran would become a three-time Mexican national boxing champion but would never get the opportunity to compete internationally as the division's number one featherweight at the time was Valdez. Though both at the top of their game, they never met as amateurs. Valdez would become Mexico's first youth world boxing champion and compete at the Olympics twice. Though Valdez would strike big in the amateurs, it would be Burchelt who struck gold first in the pro ranks, capturing the interim WBO super featherweight title on March 12, 2016, 133 days before Valdez gained his long-held WBO featherweight crown. Less than a year later, Burchelt knocked out Francisco Vargas in the 11th round to capture the WBC super featherweight title, a strap he still holds to this day. Burchelt is fast, ferocious, and ready to rock any would-be challenger. Nearly seven years removed from his lone career blemish and boasting a near 85% finishing rate, with 15 of his last 16 official opponents being sent home before the final bell. The Scorpion Sting is deadly, with only the bravest of hearts and strongest of chins daring to enter his domain. But no fighter at 130 pounds fits that bill as perfectly as Valdez. The undefeated brawler fears no man, regardless of height or weight. Well, I'll tell you right now, Ruiz is taking a beating. Look at these right hands, left hook, right hand. The left yeah. shot, and down he goes again, right on top of him. This fight's all over. The Nogales native finds a way to win, height advantages, early knockdowns, and broken jaws be damned. Valdez has had two fights at the weight, and both have ended in violent knockouts. These two warriors have been circling each other since youth and have been destined to fight. Burchelt versus Valdez is the all-Mexican super fight of this generation, and on February 20th, any fan of fisticuffs should be ready for the event of the year. <laughs>